Welcome to the top 100 goalie masks worn this season. We are here. We've come all the way from 226, and throughout that time coming all this way, I've been a little critical on generic masks, and yet, as we've come closer and closer to the top 100, uh, there's some generic masks that I've actually quite liked and ranked pretty hi and that's because this is my ranking and sometimes a generic mask is something that i quite like and there's no exception there when we get to number 100 which is the beast from the deep e2 makiniemi mask and like yeah it's generic it's two sharks logos kind of pasted on there uh <laughs> It's just, yeah, I uh, I don't know what to say to back myself up for this one other than I just like it. I just like it. Now, I've been saying the word polish for these types of masks. It's got a good polish rather than a good shine because, again, shine in the last video, it's like Logan Thompson's. That would be shine. But the word I'm actually looking for is matte which is M-A-T-T-E. That's how it's spelled, Matt. And that's kind of what I'm actually meaning by it. It's got a good texture of matte, but because that kind of sounds interesting, I'll probably just continue saying it's got good polish and just translate that from me by saying it's got good matte. It's got a good texture of matte mat <laughs> so that's kind of what i mean by this i like that though i quite like that because again it, it reminds me of kind of why people liked jonas hiller's old bear black mask with just a little tiny ducks logo on there but it was very good in that polish <laughs> yeah again just take me at my word when i say polish polish it had that good polish texture to it that good matte texture and so, in a similar way, but with more design, I've been seeing these masks and I've been like, oh yeah, that actually looks pretty good in that way. So that's part of this, but honestly, there's just a look to it that I just quite like. I like the name on the front, even though it's, again, one of those more generic texts or fonts that says Mackie. Like, we've seen that one, it said Blackie. It's a little different, but still very similar. And so it's just like... I don't know what it is, but putting all these random things together that are just like kind of generic has worked itself out in a way where it just hits my eye and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I like this. And so I've placed this in the top 100 surprisingly, uh, probably to me and you, I don't know. I don't know what you think of this mask, but again, a very generic looking mask in my eyes seems like it's like, whoa, it's actually pretty good. So I like it. I like it. At 99, we have Vitek Vanacek throwing it back to Martin Brodeur. Just his style of mask. I know it's not exactly the same because it's, he's got the full-on Devils logo there. Whereas Martin Brodeur had more of a... I don't know. It, it, did, it didn't have the N part. It kind of more just had the J part of the logo. But yeah, a very, very nicely done mask. Um, again, it's kind of got that Dave Art type sketch kind of thing. And so, I mean, it works. It looks really nice, especially in game. Um, but yeah, could it be better? I don't know. I guess it probably could, but yeah, it, it gets high enough here on 99. And again, um, I don't know if I'm as big on just plopping a logo on there. It, it does look really good here though. So again, it does get a little higher, but, uh, yeah. Hint of Broder. 98, I've got Anton Forsberg. And again, he has his children on there. And again, he has his dog on there. And this time, his dog is uh, the senator, I guess. <laughs> um, looks like more the the soldier. But, you know, that's basically the logo, right? So, yeah, I, uh, I like it. I, one thing I really like about this one, too, is underneath the... Uh, the mask part in that white space 
just the arrows that go there, the kind of senator-like arrows. I actually quite like that. I also really like how the number is shifted to the side. It's different, and it's different in a good way, I think. And then the white space also being kind of like driven to one side. Uh, it's not fully white space. You can see kind of the tail end of the Senator's logo that comes out there. But still, I don't know. There's something about this style that's just kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So I, I do like that. 97, I've got Hudobin's blackout mask. But he only wore it this season while he was on the Chicago Blackhawks. And so he had to do some covering up. For instance, if you look at this picture on the left, the far left, you can see the ARS from Stars. Whereas in his pictures on Chicago, actually, that's taped up. That's fully taped up, taped over the Stars. It's blacked out. And there was actually a full-on Dallas Stars logo D that he also covered up with some tape and put the number 31 on there. I still think it looks really awesome though. Um, I know the D for Dobby has been taken out because of that, but uh, I don't know, I, I just like it. I also like how Dobby is grabbing on to like that kind of cardiac signal, you know, the heartbeat monitor thing. I love how he's actually just grabbing onto it. Like, I don't know why he's grabbing onto it, but I think it's kind of cool. It adds a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of um, transition, I guess, into the design. I don't know if that's the right word, but I, I kind of think it's cool. Anyway, 96, I've got Elvis Merzlikens, and I've talked a lot about how much i'm not a big fan of the main logo of the columbus blue jackets i've talked about that in videos going back to i don't even know maybe my ranking on logos like it's it's something i talk about quite often and especially when it comes up here but what i do really love about this mask obviously the shine you know me by now if you've been watching these videos shiny masks definitely do well in my eyes it's got really nice shine to it but also, I really like the skyline. I really like the skyline, especially in this one. And I feel like, and it's weird for me to say, I feel like that logo there at the top front, in this case, it actually works really, really, really well. I really like it. And so, yeah, I like the chrome look to it. And yeah, it's a good one. It's, it gets a yes from me. It gets a 96. Although the lower you get, the better, right? But 96 in this case out of 226. That's good. 95, I've got Anti Ranta's uh, Ran 10 Plan mask. And this one, I also just kind of like the way that the colors contrast themselves. Like the white contrast itself well with the uh the red and then the black on top and i feel like that helps push it up i also like that stormy's on there i think that's cool but if you know me as well i've always talked about how much i dislike how canes is on their jersey how it just is canes it's a shortened nickname and so i'm not a big fan of that kind of word mark that's on there and they put it on the mask here, and I'm still, I'm not sure what I think about that. I don't really like it there, but it's better than on a jersey, at least. However, I just feel like the way that the letters are integrated on the side with the white, I don't know, I just feel like it actually works this time. And I, I guess I still can't explain it other than like I kind of like how it looks. I also really love the flags uh, the square flags going through the top. Um, I love that. I think that's really good too, but yeah, it's kind of a weird one to rank this high up at 95, but I still actually really like it. At 94, I've got Ivan Prosvitov's Iron Coyote. And one thing you'll find about my rankings is I really, really love when they have masks that kind of go around their whole face, kind of in that uh, and I, the best way to describe it for me is in that Cujo Andy Moog kind of fashion where you have the Cujo dog or the Andy Moog bear actually opening its mouth around the mask. Or maybe you have 
um, something like the Carrie Price mask, where it's actually just Jacques Plante's mask, but it makes it into his face, and he's on there, although it has his eyes, Jacques Plante's kind of eyes on there, and so that might be a little weird of an example, too. But I love masks like that, where the the kind of animal or the kind of design goes around the face in that manner. And so that's part of why this is up at this level. Um, again, the coyote design itself, is it that great? Maybe not, but again, I just love the style of it going around and it's not just some generic thing, right? 93, I've got Semyon Varlamov's Poseidon mask, and Poseidon is mostly the reason why it's up so high. I just think he looks really good on the side of the mask. Um, Long Island on the top, not amazing. Um, the NY on the side actually looks pretty good, the NY there. Uh, that's a good use of that logo, I think. But mostly it's there because of Poseidon. 92, I have Kachetkov's kind of, you know, silver mask. Black and white, I guess it's kind of said 3D black and white. What I really like about this mask, though, even though there's kind of, you know, generic sort of logos thrown around here that are grayed out, I really like his initials i like the way he did his initials on there and so that's what bumped it up quite a bit and also just the overall look of uh the black and white just helps it stand out a little bit i think i think it makes it kind of cool and metallic and so i do like that as well 91 i got shesterkin's it's called the richter tribute but i remember richter's mask as being and maybe he had one like this but i feel like the person on the Rangers who had a mask more like Liberty on both sides was actually Lundqvist, was it not? And I didn't actually look that up, but I'm pretty sure it was, this is more like a Lundqvist tribute than a Richter tribute because Richter's mask had uh, Lady Liberty front and center on the front forehead of the mask. And I always love that. That was my favorite, favorite, favorite for a long, long time, which I guess I'm spoiling maybe my last video of the week when I'm doing the top 10 of all time in that that's no longer number one. Uh, I no longer have Mike Richter's mask at number one as much as I love it. But this, I don't think it looks as good with Liberty on both sides. I prefer Liberty on the very forefront. And even the Rangers... Uh, going the text going down the sides. I'm not super big on that, but it it does work with this, so that's all right. The overall mask does really look good, but it's not going to get much higher because of certain things. But uh, don't think that this is the last time you'll see Shesterkin up here because he has done better jobs with his masks uh, that he has worn this season. So there's more to come with this one. Number 90, I have Cam Talbot, and here is the other upside down or uh, Stranger Things mask that I was talking about. What I really like about this one in particular is the silhouettes of the people biking on the bottom as well as the upside down world as well. I really like that. I think that looks really good on the chin, just in a nice prominent place. And so I quite like that. Um, the rest of it is, yeah, it's good. It's good. But that's especially what stands out and makes this what I would say a better version of the Stranger Things mask that he has. 89, I got Dustin Wolf, and it's got Clint Eastwood on it. It's well designed with the flames on the side, but what I really like on it is there's a giant wolf that's like way bigger than the Pengro Saddle Dome, or the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. It's just huge. I love how it's just overlooking that, and so even just for that, I'm just like, yeah, this is awesome. Um, and the, the logo looks pretty good on the top. The Calgary Flames logo is another one that looks pretty good when it's plopped right on the front and center of the mask. So it, wor it works well. It works well. 88. I really love what Dan Vladar has done and taken as his thing to do on his mask in Calgary. And that is to put the Calgary Tower right on the forefront of the mask. I love that that's there. And so he's got a few other ones. This is actually the lesser one, uh, in my opinion, of Dan Vladar masks. But uh, this one is still so good that it makes it all the way up to 88. So you're, you're going to see a few more of Dan Vladar's masks with that tower on the forehead as we continue on. 87. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and right away, <laughs> we have it right here. This one is nicer, I think, because it's got a nice mountain backdrop. It's got nice uh, red flames on the bottom. And 
I just think the white version of this is better, so you'll see that in a little bit as well. But again, love a lot of what Dan Vladar is doing with his kind of style where he's putting the Calgary Tower, formerly known as the Husky Tower, on his helmet. It's awesome. 86, I got Connor Hellebuck's Winnipeg mask. I really like how the Jets cross at the top on his forehead. I like how they're kind of crossed. I think that's cool. And, you know, you got a few little things. Uh, you got, you know, the fish on the side. Um, I don't know if it's bass or if it's uh, pike or, or what kind of fish it is. Uh, I've been trout fishing and whitefish fishing before. And so I'm not totally sure on all the different types of fish. Just kind of those two uh, that I've seen that I've caught. I did catch some. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I still like it as a side thing there. Um, the jet pilot is also on the side of the mask. And then you got the uh, Winnipeg Museum. I want to say it's the Human Rights Museum. I think that's what it's called. But it's something to do with human rights anyway. Uh, that's the museum in Winnipeg. Uh, it's a cool design building, so it's cool to put it on there. 85, I've got Scott Wedgwood's Dallas Stars the Hulk mask and I really like almost all of this design I think um, the way that the Dallas logos are integrated into this are really cool I think the Hulk looks really cool uh, I just feel like I wish Bucky's arm was more there's more work put into it I think than just a sketch um, but anyway that's a little nitpicky but that's just kind of my opinion on that but it, overall it is a very nice mask so i really like it i just love that we're getting into good masks we're just getting better and better masks as we go i just love it 84 i've got vamelka's cactus cut mask and i think it's so awesome that he put a giant cactus on his forehead and uh that the only logos he used were kind of the lizard ones the lizard secondary ones and so i think that's awesome i love this mask 83 I really like this, and I know this might be another one that people might say, oh, that's kind of generic, you know, just to put the King's logos on the side and make it purple, but it fills out the purple space, I think, better, or it fills out the space better with purple than it did back in, uh, back in white with, um, that was Copley's mask. So, yeah, I, I think it's just so much better, and I just really like it. I think it looks really good on Jonathan Quick there as well. Um, I, I, I really like it. I think it's really awesome. 82, I've got Vladar's other mask with the same design, the Calgary Tower. Love it. I just think it looks better in white. I love the white flames on the bottom, and I really, again, like the mountains. Of course, the mountains were on the red version as well. But uh, I think it looks really good in white. So I have it a little bit higher in white. 81, I've got David Riddick's... Oh, I love this so much. Uh, historic Jets mask uh, for the alternate jersey. I still hate that they put ads on jerseys. I'm still not over that. But anyway, other than that, those jerseys are some of my favorites ever. Um, the white version of that jersey is, uh, I, it's my favorite other than the Florida Panthers first reverse retro uh, that they did in 2020. Um, other than that, the white version of that jersey is my favorite. And this dark version here is amazing as well. So I, I really love that logo. I love how it's on the side. I love, love, love the colors. The colors just work so well together. Always loved it. And so them being on the mask is amazing. And then you got some legends on there, which also helps. I, I really love... Uh, not always, but usually when there's hockey legends on masks, that's usually a really big plus for me. And so you got Bobby Hall, you got Dale Howard Chuck on there, you got Timu on the other side, as well as, um, I believe it's Steen. I'm almost certain it's Steen. But yeah, I really love this mask, and uh, so I think it's deserving of an 81 placement. 80, I've got this most famous of logos especially on my channel when i do polls and something with this logo on it is part of it it wins out <laughs> and so really i love it i don't love it as much as everyone else who votes on you know my polls but i really still love this logo and to just have it as just the main focus of this mask it is a really good way to use it i think um yeah can you call this generic you can, but I feel like it's a lot less generic. I don't know, it kind of does fit my 
terminology when I'm talking about generic masks, but still, I just, it doesn't feel like a generic mask at all. It just feels like it just should be. It feels like it just, it, I don't know. I just love it so much. And uh, so yeah, definitely deserving of the 80th spot for sure. Man, these are getting good. 79, the Whaler's Mask. Anything with Pucky on it is awesome already. And so Whaler's Colors, Whaler's Logo is a good logo anyway. And Pucky, Pucky, he's on here. I love it. I think it's awesome. So I'm, I'm all for that mask. 78, we got Sorokin's Island Isles Titans. Oh, that's a good way to put it. The Titans, and I love it. Uh, obviously, the, uh, all the guys from the Dynasty are on here. Well, not all of them, sorry. <laughs> all these guys are from the Dynasty, is more what I meant, that are on here. You can see a bunch of the legends that were part of that four-in-a-row Stanley Cup run. Great job with this mask. Um, even the NYs on the side, they look they look pretty good. And so, love this from Sorokin. Much better than his All-Star Game mask, that is for sure. 77, I got Freddie Anderson's Lego mask. And I love all the flags that are just going all around this mask. I think that's really awesome. And that's part of why it's up so high. I love the way the numbers are... Uh, designed to kind of be blocky, kind of like those flags that are going all flag squares that are going all over, and so yeah, I think that's really cool. And yeah, the Lego guy, pretty cool. Yeah, seventy six. I got Vasilevsky's cat in the Stanley Cup, made as a design on his mask. Another Sila brush one, very good. And um, yeah, you can see on the top of his head, it's a lightning cat as well, the lightning lion. And you'll see another another bunch of lightning lion masks as we get up there. Bassy, uh, that's kind of his thing to do. Um, kind of like the Cujo, Cujo dog and the Eddie the Eagle Eagle thing. Uh, Bassy's thing is to put a lightning lion, a lion with lightning coming out of its eyes on his mask. And so we'll see a few more of his masks as we go on here. 75, we have Auntie Ranta's uh, Rantan plan. Again, I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but he's fishing. He's fishing. He's a fisherman. He actually looks kind of like a Grim Reaper, but he's actually just a fisherman. So that's what he's trying to do is fish. He's got a hook on a stick. Um, but yeah, I, I like that logo. I really love how it uh, captures kind of like you're up with um, Rant and Plan on the boat. And then as the water goes down, you know, it gets a little murkier and deeper. And I love that side of the mask into some nice lettering. I, I like the font for the 32. Again, is it that... Uh, that uncommon to find that exact font for the numbers no i feel like i've seen it a few times already but i like it i i, I still like that font. um the other side could use some more work i think i i just i don't know if i like the gray hurricanes logo just on top of the other flags i feel like it might be nicer even just to have the flag on its own or just something else there in general but the one side of the mask with random plan on it definitely is uh, a really good um design 74 oh man here we go again another one of those colorado avalanche uh <laughs> designs where two avalanches are plopped on the side but again i just really like it and i love the colored version of this i love how it fades into it love the stars on the top you know and again simple masks they can be very good and so i really just like this one with the fading colors 73 i got grubauer's uh crack and taking over the city mask the first kraken mask that he that we saw with him way back i think in the first video not a huge fan of it uh, at all it might have been the second video but either way i'm not a huge fan of it at all i just thought it was very generic not that great this one even though i'm not big on the style of the tentacles uh just how the art style of it i still love that there's giant tentacles overtaking the city and the logo is kind of being wrapped up in it as well that's all right too but the the tentacles themselves is pretty awesome uh the city line and then the, go down into the, into the mountains uh yeah i just really like it uh groovy groovies it looks like it says groovies with the one tentacle coming off the edge but uh groovy groovies mask <laughs> so i like this one i quite do 72 i've got the first tristan jari mat no no the first of his tom and jerry ones though uh i really like the tom and jerry ones um this is like we talked about in the last video free designs mask and he does a really good job with them this is the 
mask that could have been $2,500, but uh, pretty worth it when you get into stuff like this. Really awesome mask. Um, I feel like it would have been nicer if the big Pittsburgh Penguins logo, uh, they might have been able to do something else with that. But, I mean, if you're just putting Tom and Jerry, it is, I guess, nice to have something that represents the Penguins in some way. So, a giant logo. It definitely doesn't hurt it. I just think it... That maybe could be a little better in some ways, but I do really appreciate the uh, the Tom and Jerry stuff going on on the sides. The Cowboy Jerry, right? So, yeah. 71, I've got Pavel Francouz, and he's got this really awesome mask. I ranked one of his a lot lower before, um, but this one is quite good. I really like it, and I think he had a similar mask last year, and because he won the Cup in 2022... Uh, he wanted to have the Stanley Cup on there now. And so Bernie is now pulling a Stanley Cup uphill. The only thing I am not a big fan of about this mask is, I don't know, the more I look at Bernie's mouth area, I'm like, what's going on with his mouth? I don't know. It just looks kind of weird to me. But overall, just a really awesome mask. Number 70, we've got Allmark's dogs as cartoon characters riding on bears and just the riding on bears part alone is just awesome just that he's putting them on top of some some uh some bruins there i think that's pretty sweet so i really like this one again the more that's going on in terms of more design than just the generic logos and stuff like here you know design there's some cartoons being made here i just love that kind of stuff and so Unless it's the otter. I know. I feel bad. Oh, the otter is so low. I'm just not big on the otter. But this stuff, I, I actually quite like. So, yeah. You'll see more of this as we go on from here. 69, I got Shesterkin's uh, other... Uh, it's not really his other Liberty logo mask. Although, there is the Liberty logo on there. So, I guess it could be. But this is kind of his style more so. Is to have that kind of... I don't know what you call it. If it's a gargoyle or just like the... Uh, like, it's like kind of those, um, right, well, you see what I'm talking about. Things that Spider-Man or Batman stands or sits on, you know, and they jump around New York or whatever. I guess it's for Gotham, it's, or for Batman, it's Gotham. But anyway, I I'm not big on the NYR going across the top, not big on that, but the rest of it is pretty good. I, I really like, uh, Shisterkin's style of putting that corner of the building uh, with the eagle face on it. I love how he does that and makes that kind of his style. At least this season, he's done that with a few masks. And so I really like that. Dimensions is, I guess, what it's called uh, by the Dave Art graphics. So, yeah, there's that. But, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm I big on that part of it. But he does it better, and you'll see him do it better in the future, in my opinion. 68, I got Kemper's Hockey Fights Cancer Mask. And... You'll see another version of this later on, but I really love the Screaming Eagle coming down. I think that's really awesome. And the Weagles on the sides. Another one where you could probably call it generic, but this, if this is generic, this is like some of the best generic that it gets. And you'll see it on the other version of this mask where it's not just uh, purple, where it's actually, you know, colored in and everything. I love 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 it and so you'll see a better version of this so this one's a little lower because uh it doesn't look quite as good in purple i know the other mask i ranked uh look i thought looked better in purple the bobrovsky one but this one i don't think looks quite as good in in purple as it does in the real version and so or the regular version so yeah 67 i've got uh dostal again dostal uh and there's a lot going on here you got the classic logo of uh wild wing breaking through the ice you got him looking angry on the chin there and then you've got transformers again but this time they're big on the side so there's a lot going on and i like it even though you could you know uh you know i don't know if you even call this generic anymore i think i've just been so focused on oh there's logos on it it's generic this is not even really that generic uh anymore this is this is different i mean I like this and, you know, as we get going, I feel like I'm lesser in... This is generic than I am in the others. Man, if there's a word I've used more than any other word during this whole video, it's probably the word mask. But generic is definitely up there. I've said generic a lot. 66, the number of Mario Lemieux goes to Andre Vasilevsky, his other uh, lightning lion mask. And there's still more to come. But uh, yeah, this is a nice version of it too. 65, I got another version of the Shesterkin mask, and this one pays tribute to 
uh, Hendrik Lundqvist, the king. And uh, I love it. But at the same time, I like Liberty on the top, yes, but I like Liberty on the top when she's on the forehead. And so this one kind of turned around. Uh, gets a little bit of a lower grade than the last Shisterkin mask that we'll see because he's still got another one. But uh, again, love the design with the corners of the buildings that are eagles. Love that. Love how Henrik Lundqvist is on there. And uh, yeah, great stuff. 64, I've got Martin Jones. And uh, I really just like how the octopus is digging into the treasure chest. I just think that's an awesome thing to have on there. <laughs> I just love it, and so I'll just always have that high up. Uh, the rest of it is pretty good. It's it's well drawn. Um, Eye Candy Air, I guess, is Steve Nash. Steve Nash designed this? Wow. What a great... He's not just a basketball player. Just kidding. It's a different Steve Nash. I'm almost certain. I I could be wrong. It would be pretty unreal if, if the Steve Nash, the basketball player, was a very good goalie mask artist, but yeah, I'm assuming it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah i don't know i like it i think even the the parts that i would call maybe a little bit generic putting the big logo on there and the big anchor stuff like that that looks really clean and so i think that's awesome too but i really just love the sketches on the sides um i think those look awesome of kraken right so yeah doing it right there 63 jonas carpasalo another la one and i love this so much I, I I could see how some people might think it's a little boring, but the way that it shines purple a little bit, you can see more on the front of the mask when he's facing us. You can see how it shines a little bit of purple along with the rest of the glow. I love that. Uh, I love how the LA logo is redesigned into more of a banner thing that comes down. Um, I love that so much. And I love the film reels and the palm trees and all this stuff. I think this is just a really solid mask and I, I really like it. And I can see why people might uh, rank it lower. I'm not sure if you would or not, but I personally just really love this. 62, I've got Silov's Gods of the North mask or God of the North or whatever. I'm not sure if that's Odin or Thor on the side of the mask, but I really like it either way. Uh, good stuff. So yeah, 61, I've got Nadelkovich and his Tuke mask i really love that uh i think it's really awesome that he has that and i really like the uh, octopus tentacles that are coming up from that as well number 60 i've got thompson's flamingo fla mingo uh for the all-star game mask and really love the number 36 in the star as well so it's not just the flamingo that brings it that far up it's also just the overall design elements the colors miami kind of vice sort of thing and Ah, I just really, really like it overall. I just think it's such a good design overall. I just, this is a very well done uh, all-star game mask. Like I can't even right now. I'm looking at it more and more and I, I might even be liking it more and more as I see it. Again, when you go through 200 and 26 masks you kind of get worn out a little bit by the when you get close to the end and i did the pacific division last and so this was one of the last ones and i'm like this is awesome but now that i look at it more and it's just like wow this is like <laughs> this definitely deserves to be this high at the very least this is really good 59 i've got carter hart's ghost rider mask another one that's really well done artistically and uh yeah i just really like it good 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 stuff for sure 58, I've got Tristan Jari's Winter Classic Mask. Another Tom and Jerry one. And uh, I uh, I really like it. I really like it. The Pittsburgh Pirates logo, the big P on the top. That looks good. Um, that's always one that looks good on masks. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes logos aren't as good, but uh, that one looks good on the top of the mask. The Vegas logo, I always think, looks good on the top of the mask. The Calgary logo as well. So some better than others, but uh, yeah, really good stuff. Tom and Jerry flying their planes around, and uh, yeah. Oh, I just really like this. Yeah. Wow, actually, there was some lightning coming out of that plane. I wonder what was going on there, actually. Anyway, uh, 57, I got this one that's kind of, yeah, again, the polish is really nice on it. I really like how clean it is. I just think it's really nice. It's that Desert Knight um, type style, and I think it looks really, really good. I think this matches the jersey so amazingly well and just looks awesome. But there is another one 
from Vimelka, I believe, that I like even better with this kind of same style. And so we'll see that not too long from now. 56, Connor Hellebuck, Jets. You've heard me talk already about how much I love that Jets jersey and those Jets colors. And I feel like it's just really well done. It's not done in a generic way at all, I don't think. Uh, of course, it's got the text in the same way as Jets uh, have it on their logo. But I just really love the way it's done. And I'm very, again, biased when it comes to these kind of colors and this logo and this style. I'm pretty biased, but honestly, I just really love this. 55, I've got Akira Schmid, and I think this is one of the best New Jersey Devil masks that I've ever seen, honestly, because it really captures what the Jersey Devil actually is, right? It's not NJ Devil running around. It's not like Satan, right? Like, it's actually this kind of folklore type creature that's kind of like a a deer or a, um, a horse type creature with wings, right? You see it there. And I just love that this captured that. I love that this put it on there. And so I'm actually really high on this mask. I think it's really awesome. And, you know, maybe some people, again, would rank it a little lower. But because, again, you're just, you know, you're pasting the New Jersey logo kind of on the side. There's a bunch of stamping going on there or stenciling or whatever with all those mini logos all around the mask. But honestly, just for what it is... I really love what they did with putting the NJ, not the NJ doll, the Jersey Devil on there. I I uh, I actually really like that because it's so true to the name. And it, usually, if something's true to the name, again, I'm just I'm all about the looks, right? I'm all about the looks. I don't know. In this case, I guess maybe I'm a little bit more about the lore than the looks, but still think it looks good anyway. <laughs> 54. I've got Vimelka's. This is the Desert Night one I was talking about earlier. Uh, I think this is really awesome. I love the big cactus on the forehead. I think it's a little different. And so I, I do prefer this one to the other one, but not by much, obviously not by much. They're both really uh, great masks in my opinion. 53, I've got Freddie Anderson's playoff mask, the Pred, the Pred, the Fred Zilla mask. And yeah, uh, again, could it be better with, uh, you know, maybe something else going on in the top instead of just placing the the Hurricanes logo on there, maybe, but the Hurricanes logo does look really good on there. I feel like it gives me similar vibes to that Jake Allen one that we saw a long time ago that I was like, you know, it's very generic, but it's very, very clean. This one in the same way is actually pretty clean. And of course the Fred Zilla stuff is great. I, I really like that. I think that's awesome. 52, we've got Martin Jones and this one, I couldn't really find good angles for the side. And so I just put this video on so you can see the sides uh, of the you know Cthulhu it's not the Cthulhu I just called it that because it looked like a Cthulhu to me but it really is the Kraken and so again just like I keep thinking <laughs> I keep thinking of what um what Grubauer changed his mask to and I'm just like why why did you change it it's so much better Kraken masks are so much better when there's like actual Kraken on them anyway yeah and for this video, we'll finish off with Aaron Dell's Scarecrow Mask. And again, this one kind of has a bit going on with the genericity in the sharks breaking through the side, but not really at all. And it's kind of his classic style as well to do the Scarecrow type stuff. So I like it that way. And because, yeah, that's what you'll see with Dell sometimes is in past uh, years, he's had similar looking Scarecrow stitching uh, over the eyes and the rips going through so yeah i'm i i like it a lot so yeah that is the top 100 well no <laughs> the the 100 to 51 but next time we are going to go to the top 50 and we'll finish this out and you're gonna see the best masks of the year and i'm really excited to show them to you because i'm really pumped Especially for number one. I think number one is like amazing, amazing, amazing. And if you know what number one is, like when we get down to the bottom, oh, then you're going to expect it. But I don't know if it's that well known. So I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll save it. But I just think it's the best. So anyway, signing off for this one and we'll see you tomorrow or in a few seconds if you're on the playlist.